I know all of the techies are probably going to unsubscribe because they don't want to watch makeup videos, but hopefully you guys don't and just stay subscribed because I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a Valentine's Day look using the Emreezy palette. I don't know why everyone always likes to do a pinky look for Valentine's Day. I'm one of them. When I opened this palette, I just automatically knew the colors that I was going to use first. So if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, then just keep watching. She collabed with them once again, and um, I actually have her first palette too. Here are the colors, really, really pretty colors, pop of colors on this side right here, and then this side here. I'll do some swatches, but later. I think swatches on every single color are played out, so I'm gonna use my really cute mirror from Impressions Vanity. It has like lights on it so you can um, have different shades and if you press and hold, it gets darker and press and hold and it gets brighter. I actually use this on my clients after I apply their lash extensions on. I let them use this mirror to look at their eyelashes. So yeah, just thought I'd tell you that. I don't know why. I have already done like my whole face, you know? I just haven't done concealer. I just did foundation and brows. Okay, so for this look, I'm gonna use like pinky shades. Um, I'm actually gonna start out by using this color Semsa. A little goes a long way, I'm, I'm noticing. I am using a fluffy brush for this and just packing that color on the outer V of my eyes. And then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush with no product on it and I'm just gonna blend the top layer. Is I'm gonna take this color Wasted right here. It's like a highlighter color. And I'm gonna take that and put that above my brow bone as my highlighter. Next, I'm gonna take this color Reezy and pop that on the center of my lids. And I'm gonna use my finger for that, just cause, I don't know. I always like using my finger when it comes to colors like this. Ooh! This color! I don't think I have a color like this in my makeup collection. After that, I'm gonna go back in with this color Semsa and apply it um, on the outer V again since the color kind of faded away. You're gonna edit this, huh? Huh, yep. Okay, so what I did with that color was I kind of brought it out a little bit just because of all the lid space that I have. All the lid space that I have. <laughs> so I just like making sure that I have these colors blended really well. Okay, so I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to use Barb or Cupcake. Let's swatch these colors. Here are these colors. I don't know what color to do. Ooh, I think I'm going to use Barb. I think it'll give it a nice twinkle. Ooh, and I'm just patting it on instead of smudging it. Ooh, this would be a cute highlighter too because it's like iridescent looking. So is there any Netflix shows that you guys recommend? Right now I'm watching this show on Hulu. Uh, it's produced by Tyler Perry and it's called If Loving You Was Wrong. Oh my gosh, it's such a good movie. It's a series, a, a four series and it's really good. My sister told me about it. There was a little bit of fallout, but nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna dust it off. All right, so next I'm gonna apply my favorite lashes at the moment. These are the Ardell Studio Effects and it's in the number 231. And so I'm just gonna apply that. I am using the Duo Glue. I can't live without this. Ever since I've got these nails, these nails are by Enel Couture. I don't know if you guys know who he is on Instagram, but seriously, they are really like good press on nails. I don't like to go get my nails done because I get scared of all of the drilling and stuff that they do to your nails. I just feel really scared. And then on top of that, like I feel like there's no nail tech that knows my style and what I like.
I feel like when you wear darker colors, it closes your eyes out. Lately, I haven't been using dark colors to apply here. Normally, I would apply a dark brown just to give it more of the shadow. Lately, I haven't and I really like it. All right, so next I'm going to take my black liner. This is by Wet n Wild and I'm just gonna apply it on my waterline. Then I'll smudge it out. I'm going to smudge it with Samsa. You know what? I'm gonna try to highlight using barbs. I'm gonna take that fluffy brush and go underneath it. I'm gonna take a mix of Wasted and Anastasia, which are these two colors right here. I'm gonna take a mixture of those and apply it on my tear ducts. Sorry, my angles are all wrong. It's been so long since I've done a makeup tutorial. I'm gonna move on to the face and I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I got this new Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand and I like it. It gives my face that glowy effect. It's really cute, but I'm not gonna use that today because I used Fenty's foundation for my face, which I'm not a fan of right now because my face is so dry, because it's so cold. And I honestly think that this is the driest my skin has ever been like ever in life. My face used to be oily, like out of control oily. I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong. Maybe caffeine, drinking too much coffee. I really don't know. I just, my face is just really dry. I'm gonna contour my nose. Remember this back in the old YouTube days? Okay, now I'm going to apply contour or bronze. This oldie but goodie that I've just consistently used. And I'm gonna take my MAC Big Brush because I don't want it to be so precise. We're just gonna softly contour. I am going to take the powder, apply it on the lower part of my face to kind of sculpt it a little bit. I just want to say rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and all of the souls that were taken on the airplane crash. It's so sad. I remember when Kobe entered the NBA. If you guys know me, you guys know that I'm a Penny Hardaway fan. But I remember when Shaquille got traded to the Lakers, Penny Hardaway was, I don't know, maybe feeling some type of way. It used to be Penny and Shaq. And then when Kobe went to the Lakers, Shaquille got traded there and that's how I knew of Kobe. It hurts my heart. Like I cried. I caught myself crying a few times a day thinking about it. Rest in peace to all of the lives that were lost. Okay, so for my lip, I wanted to do red, but no, red is not going to go good with this look. So I'm going to take this Line and Load by NYX. I really like this color uh, in foolish ways I use this as a liner it's you can use it as a liner and lipstick and now I'm gonna take faux 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 I'm gonna take faux faux <laughs> by Mac and place it on the middle okay I'm gonna cover my lash line using NYX's liner that is discontinued I don't know why and I'm not gonna do a cat eye I'm not trying to mess this look up okay so now I'm gonna use Barbie and I'm going to do a light 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 highlight on my uh, cheekbones oh, okay don't put that in the video let's see Oh, dang I thought this was gonna look like a little clownish but 
Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. It looks wet. This is Jaclyn Hill's highlighter brush, by the way. Oh my gosh. Okay, Miss Thang, I really like this palette. This is a really nice one. And I really like these colors here. They ha have really nice glitter looks. And then Leo, oh my goodness. That is so pretty. Georgina, Gemini. Yeah, I've been following Emreezy for a while. I'm okay, sure. well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. I hope you guys all have a very happy Valentine's Day. And if you do recreate this look, good luck. And um, this palette is worth it. It has nice little sparkles on it. Kind of got the Nicki Minaj vibes. It does come with a brush, but I literally have like so many brushes of them. This palette does retail for $49 versus $42 because it has additional to pan. If you look at the normal palette that Anastasia has, uh, it is additional to, in my opinion, it's got colors that are very universal. Hope you guys have fun using the palette if you guys do. And um, happy Valentine's Day and welcome back to my makeup looks. I know all of the techies are probably going to unsubscribe because they don't want to watch makeup videos, but Hopefully you guys don't and just stay subscribed because I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. I have, I think, 30 more subscribers to go. So please support, please share my video so I could see 1K next to my name. Hope you guys are all having a amazing 2020 so far. And please be careful out there. 2020 has definitely been off to a rough start. So thank you so much for watching. All right, bye. My lips leak.